Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Ford Edge, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. You'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation. All right guys, we're gonna need to access our tail light harnesses. They are located right underneath the fascia right here, underneath the tail light. So we're gonna start by removing the driver's side tail light. On the tail light, there's a small square panel right here that we'll remove using a flathead screwdriver. And that exposes a torque screw that we will remove using a T25 torque screw bit. And then we'll remove the tail light by pushing towards the rear of the vehicle. And we'll go ahead and push down on the clip and we'll remove that harness. And we'll set it aside for reinstallation later. All right, as you can see, there's nowhere to bring our taillight harness through the cargo area. And right here through the fascia, there's not a lot of room. So we're going to pull back on our fascia along here. We're gonna start by pulling up on this clip and then pulling this back. All right, now underneath the vehicle, we're gonna to need to remove this underbody panel on the driver's side to allow us to bring our wiring up through the bumper fascia. So we'll need to remove this underbody panel by removing these two screws using a 7 32nd socket. And there's one more nut that is located right above the driver's side exhaust hanger, and we'll remove that using a 10 millimeter socket. All right, now that we have the screw off, we'll go ahead and remove the underbody panel and we'll reinstall that later. All right, now we're gonna have to bring our wiring up through the fascia. So we're just gonna use an extra wire to help pull it up through. So we're just gonna feed it down and it'll just drop right down as it follows the tail light harness wires. And we're gonna take our T connector with the yellow and brown wire and we're gonna go ahead and tape it to this wire. And then we'll pull it from up top. We'll go ahead and pull it through. And then we'll remove the tape from the pull wire. And we'll go ahead and plug it into our tail light harness. And now with all of this extra harness in here, we won't be able to put our tail light back on. So we're gonna need to unclip the tail light harness from the fascia. So using a flathead screwdriver, Continue to push it down. And we'll reconnect the fascia. And then we'll reinstall the tail light. Now we're gonna go ahead and ground our wires and mount our converter box. We're gonna be using the included tap screws and we're just gonna go right up here next to the frame rail. All right, now on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and take our green T connector and we're gonna route it over to the passenger side. We're gonna to wanna to make sure to avoid the exhaust by going through the center underbody panel. All right, now that we have our green T connector over on the passenger side, we'll go ahead and connect it to our passenger side tail light following the same process as before.
All right, back at our converter box on the driver's side, we're gonna need to run a power wire from the battery to the black wire on our converter box. We'll be using our U-Haul exclusive power wire. This comes with a protective loom and a fuse holder already connected to it. And as we run it from the battery to the back, we'll need to avoid anything hot or anything that will move that can cause damage to our wire. All right, our battery is located in the engine compartment on the driver's side. To bring it down through the engine compartment underneath the vehicle, right underneath this reservoir, there's some lines that follow it exactly down. So we're gonna use that path to bring our power wire down. So our power wire comes down right along these brake lines right here. So we're just gonna pull our power wire all the way down. So we're gonna follow these brake lines that go behind this panel. And to get behind this panel, we'll be removing these two nuts using a 10 millimeter socket. And when it comes out of the panel, we'll continue to follow it until we get to the end of the vehicle. All right, as you can see, we have a lot of wire left over. So we're gonna cut our power wire a little shorter. Right now we're gonna go ahead and connect our power wire to the black wire on our converter box and we'll be using a heat shrink buck connector. And we'll go ahead and use our butane torch to use the heat shrink. All right, back up at the battery, now that everything is hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and remove this nut off of the positive terminal using a 10 millimeter socket. And we'll go ahead and attach our fuse holder We'll reconnect that nut. All right, now we'll go ahead and take off the cap and we'll insert a 15 amp fuse. And then we'll tuck it down to the side. All right, guys, with our wiring all powered up, we're ready to mount our four flat. We're gonna route it towards our hitch following the same route that we did as our passenger side T-connector. And we're gonna bring it out of this opening right here in the center underbody panel. All right, now with our wiring into place, we're gonna go ahead and mount our four flat using a four flat mounting bracket. This is not included with our kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul. We're gonna go ahead and drill our two holes using a 3 16 drill bit. tighten it using a 3 8 socket. And we'll take our four flat and we'll put it into the bracket. And we'll put our dust cover on. And right, we're gonna finish up by putting our underbody panels back up on the driver and passenger side. All right guys, that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.